Hi, um, before we start the audio, I、uh, thought that it was a good idea to maybe explain why Sucrose's imposter's voice might have changed a bit. Um, so, you know, um, at first I thought it was a good idea to maybe have Sucrose's imposter have a deeper voice compared to Sucrose. But then, at the same time, when I was listening to my own audio or recording, I couldn't really see Sucrose. I mean, like the same face of Sucrose having such a low voice, I guess. And when I listen to these t y p e of audios, I would prefer to imagine, you know, a character while listening to the audio. I'm not sure if I'm making any sense, but yes,、yeah, so I just decided why not go for a high pitched voice at the same time, but a different t y p e of high pitched voice, at least different to Sucrose's in a sense. Um, so that's why her voice changed, and I hope it doesn't really bother anyone. <laughs> yes, um, I should probably stop bothering you. Uh, I should go. Bye. <laughs> oh, but if you like the voice of the Sucrose back then, then maybe I could keep doing that because obviously, as you can see, this is not exactly going to be a one video thing. I'm going to have part one, part two, part three. Y- you get what I mean, right? Um, so I'm just trying out things right here. So if you liked that Sucrose imposter Sucrose's voice, um, just tell me. Um, I'm going to go with the flow, I guess. <laughs> uh, yes, I should really stop bothering you now. Um, okay, bye. Enjoy the audio. You're going with her? <laughs> That's great! We get to eat desserts together and we get some privacy. But, but Traveler, she. Uh, uh, y- yes. I. I guess it would be a better idea for me to figure out a way to reverse all this. Ugh, Traveler, even you two? Do you really want me gone that badly? Well. If I get to stay with you before I disappear, then I guess I have no objections in this matter. You, other me, start doing your job as an alchemist, would you? We'll go have a date. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, gorgeous, let's get going. Oh, also, before we go, don't make another mistake like you did the last time. I, I won't. The last thing I need is more rivalry. Is that really Come on. your main concern? Let's go, shall we? Hey! Be careful. Mmm. The warmth of the sun is nice. Is this what it feels like to be human? So, where shall we head off to? You seriously didn't think we would be eating desserts anywhere, did you? That ruins the romantic vibe we're having here. Mmm. Where would be the best place to go? Windrise? s a r f o b a l l y Falcon Coach? Or maybe even the bench right over there? Oh, I know. How about we go to Dragon Spine? I know, I know, it's not the most ideal place for a date, but the breeze is nice there, is it not? We can stay near the riverside so we don't freeze to death. Besides, The view of the mountain there is to die for. If it's too cold, we can make a fireplace going. And if neither of us get too cold even after that, we can use other methods to gain our heat. Get closer to each other and cuddle. <laughs> Why look so surprised? Don't tell me you're expecting something more. Something more scandalous? <laughs> Why, my traveler, your face is red as that red headed stone face. Don't worry, I won't be doing anything of that sort to you. I'd rather keep the scandalous act somewhere more private, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Let's get going then. Breeze is as good as ever. Let's stay over there.、Hmm. Come on now. Let's eat desserts. 
can't let them go to waste now, can we? <laughs> mm, as much as I hate to admit it, I do have the same taste bud as the other me, so I do love sweet things. <sighs> so, Traveler, I've heard you've gone to many places, hmm? How is it? I mean, how does it feel to, you know, roam around, see things and places? How is it? You surely have seen many beautiful and horrifying things, have you not? How does it feel to be free, unbound, unrestrained? Humans are quite interesting, aren't they? Despite being mere mortals, who are fully at the mercy of the gods, they manage to find ways to surpass the gods' expectations. Humans are bound by the laws the gods have created, and yet they look so free. Is it because they're human? Does being human give them more privilege? Do they have the right to roam around and be somewhat free since they're, well, humans? Did you know, Traveler? I carry the memory of Sucrose, but I also carry the memories of the Whopper Flower before it's been slayed. Hmm. Not a very fond memory, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's hard to explain how it felt. I'm not quite sure if I'm feeling what I feel because of the Whopper Flower or if I'm feeling all this sadness due to Sucrose. Do Whopper Flowers even have emotions? For all I know, they only live on by natural instincts. It's very likely that a partial portion of Sucrose DNA helped me feel the emotions that only humans can feel. <laughs> I sound like her now. Did you know, Traveler? The Whopper Flower that had been slayed used to live in this area. Right by that tree over there. All I can remember from that whopper flower is the coldness of this mountain, survival, and death. All whopper flowers do is repopulate, invade, attack, and die. Their lives are more boring than a dictionary. And although they are frowned upon as an individual creature, does that mean that they deserve to get killed at first glance? Traveler, how many Whopper Flowers have you killed during your travels? 300? 400? Now, I know most of those deaths were most likely caused due to self-defense. However, you cannot deny that the first thing you think about when you see a Whopper Flower is to kill them. I don't blame you. No, I understand. They are dangerous, harmful, parasites of sort. But don't parasites do what they do to survive too? Humans kill animals to survive, kill monsters to survive. And although whopper flowers are different, don't they do what they do to survive? If a whopper flower decides to start repopulating, then they will eventually go extinct. And although a lot of people look at whopper flowers as a nuisance, most medicines created to heal people or potions made to strengthen people were created from extracting whopper flowers' blood. Humans don't know just how lucky they are. Loved by the gods, free to do as they please as long as it doesn't go against the gods' law. Free to kill, invade, and take. If it means for their survival and no one's there to frown upon them. It's only for self-defense, after all. Meanwhile, creatures such as whopper flowers are left in the dark, killed before we even get a chance. We cannot roam around freely. If we do, we'll be slain for sure. Such powerful thing emotions are, this feeling that I'm getting, it's so strong that I feel like I can just 
Claudia Watt lovers such as me didn't even have the privilege of having a heart. Only after being quote unquote half human am I able to feel a fraction of it and know how strong it feels. I hear that emotions are the main source of a human's motivation to go on. Such powerful and dangerous weapons humans have. And they don't even know, do they? I see your hand reaching towards your sword, traveler. Do not be alarmed. I'm not planning on killing Sucros or anything. I know that the Whopper Flower Albedo tried to kill the real Albedo before. But unlike that Whopper Flower, I lack the instinct. Perhaps if I were to be created from the physical form of a Whopper Flower, I would have had stronger instincts of a Whopper Flower. And maybe then, I would have actually tried to kill her. But even then, I'm not sure if I would have tried to kill her. Looking at her memories, the time she had with you, the time she had with others, as much as I hate to say it, I will never be able to have it. I'm not even supposed to be here, aren't I? Are you sympathizing with me right now? <laughs> You're really cute, traveler. Much like Sucrose, I really like you. But now... Sadly, there is no way I can be an individual being. Either way, for me to actually exist, I need to come from another human's DNA. That doesn't make me... me. It just makes me a less intricate copy of that human. And I'm quite tired of being a copy of another copy. I mean, come on. That's all I see from the Whopper Flower's memory. So boring. Sure, I can change my looks and my personality is already very much different from Sucrose, but I'd rather not. Wanting to be a separate individual is one thing, but like I said, I obtained Sucrose's memory and seems like along with it came the feelings too. I don't know if my poor non-existent heart can bear the idea of you two being all lovey-dovey. Oh, come on, don't deny it. I see the way you look at her, and it's... It's different from the way you look at me. Sure, you get flustered and all when I tease you, but... Something about the way you look at her. It's... Nice. And quite literally sickening. <laughs> I know the reason you picked me, Traveler. Sure, maybe you wanted to get to know me better, but I know you picked me to protect Sucrose. You know that if you leave me in the lab all alone, there's a high chance of me going rogue. But then, if you brought me with you, then you could pay a close attention to me. And maybe if I do start to go rogue, you would stop me right then and there. <laughs> she likes you a lot, you know. Enough that those feelings managed to harbor in me, too. Take good care of her, okay? She's very insecure. And oh god, you won't believe how many times she had tried to confess to you. It's annoying, really. I wish I could jump into that time of her memory and say it myself. Same goes for you! For heaven's sake, stop giving each other the googly eyes and confess already. <laughs> but really, do take good care of her. If you don't, I might as well come back from being a dust particle and beat you up myself. <laughs> Ugh, I hate sappy talks. Seems like this place made me feel human emotions much stronger. Anyways, let us eat the dessert. <laughs> Can't let them go to waste now, can we? Oh, you're back! Yes, yes. 
I know how much fun we had, didn't we, I... traveler? <laughs> so, are you finished? Yes, I only have a few more steps left. It should work. It should, you say? Uh, well, I'm not sure if it will actually work, so... Well, that's good news to I... me. I get to go on more dates with a traveler while you're stuck in the lab figuring out how to turn me back into a dust particle. Like I said, not a dust particle. Anyways, we brought some leftovers. Uh, oh? <laughs> Why you look so surprised? I just didn't think you actually knew how to care for people. <laughs> I'm not caring for you. Uh, I was just full, and so was the traveler. Right, sweetheart. Why are you looking at me like that? Quit it. You're ruining your face with that smug look. Anyways, are you done yet? N not yet. I, I just need a bit more procedures. Watch her do this until midnight. Uh, I won't. <laughs> <sighs> Here, let us help you. Hello. Um, <laughs> I know I've already talked at the start of the video, but um, if you're still here, then wow, thank you. I, I can't believe anyone had, you know, the guts to go through and listen to me blabber on about a bunch of weird things, but, um, I just wanted to say, uh, thank you for the ongoing support right now, um, in my standard, 600 to 700 views is very, very high, um, that's 600 to 700 people, that is crazy, <laughs> um, and it's scary in a sense, but um, <laughs> but thank you uh, for all the support and for the people who have been commenting on my videos. Thank you very much. Your comments they brighten my day really. Um, I'm glad you enjoy my videos, even though they're honestly not the best quality. But yes, thank you so much for the support. And I know I may be repeating things. Like repeating what I'm saying, but that is because I do not have a script for this. Um, so yes, thank you very much. Um, I hope you have a nice day, and good night or good morning, good evening, I guess, depending on where you came from. Then, um, bye bye. See you in the next video. <laughs>